up guys it's a beautiful saturday morning here in connecticut so we're actually uh we're gonna go uh try our luck at a uh, three mile time trial i've uh, been feeling good training all summer um goal today is really a benchmark but goal today is uh 18 minutes so we're gonna see what we can do with that so heading over to the track right now um gonna get a quick stretch in do some rolling out and then uh and then we'll see what we can do for this three mile All right guys, just pulled up to the uh, track. So now what we want to do is uh, probably just go ahead. We'll get a uh, get a quick stretch in. I brought, as you can see, just got my roller there. So I'm going to uh, roll out. I brought, uh, brought an elastic band as well. Um, so just going to kind of really warm up the legs, kind of get them going. All right, so it looks like there's a there's like a marching band or something practice going on up there. So if you guys hear that in the background, that's, that's what that is. Um, but yeah, no, so about to hit this, uh, this three mile time trial, you know, whenever you're kind of doing these like tests, sometimes it's, I feel like it's a little bit like nerve wracking, you know, like you're, you're excited, but at the same time, you're kind of nervous. You like, you don't know what, you don't know if it's going to work out the way you want it to and stuff. Um, so like I said, I'm hoping for that 18 minute. I mean, if it's anything above 1830, I'm going to be kind of disappointed in my training but I really don't see that being the case um, last time I was here I did a one mile time trial and that came out to 453 so I was really really happy about that um, so yeah like I said the biggest thing I'm just kind of doing a couple quickie stretches here just like quick activation stretches getting everything a little bit loose I'm gonna hit a quick roll and then I'll actually go into my dynamic stretching All right, so for shoes today, got the uh, Nike Zoom uh, Vaporfly Next Percent. Um, this is my size uh, 11, but um, yeah, so I've run in these things, oh, I don't know, probably for like just 10 or 15 runs, um, and I absolutely love them. I actually, uh, uh, late last year, so it's you know August now, uh, late last year, I guess around, I guess it was um, October, um, I ran a marathon and a pair of these and um, absolutely love them. Super light, super light. And uh, this sole is, is giant, right? But um, just provides so much like reaction on every step. And uh, I just, I mean, I love it. I mean, uh, I don't really believe that, that a shoe can, can make you faster, or I guess I didn't. And then, uh, well, until um, I put these things on and I realized, like, holy cow, it's so much easier to hit the splits that I want to on, like, 400s, 800s, um, even my mile run. Like, I did the time trial in these, and uh, they helped so much. So, um, like I said, super light. You got that, like, uh, I don't even know how to describe it. Like, a, it's almost like a rain jackety uh, type. 
uh, material. I don't know if you guys can see that, but um, the only downside to these is that they are not cheap at all. I mean, the first pair I got, they were sold out on Nike. These are also sold out on Nike. I mean, they always are. Uh, they retail at like 250, and then if you want to actually buy them, you got to buy them from like eBay or um, I don't know, like I think it's uh, StockX or, or like you know one of those online sites, and uh, you're gonna easily easily pay like over 300 bucks for these probably. Um, so I don't know, just keep that in mind. I mean, like I said, it's a big help, but you don't necessarily need them to do good in running. So that's really the only that's the only real downside. I really like the fit on these two. Definitely very tight, um, you know, to your foot and, and really locked in. I mean, I don't even really have to tie these and I could run in them, no problem. And what's cool too, I'll show you guys this, but I don't know if you can see that, but there's like, uh, maybe you can, maybe you can't. There's a pad right at the, uh, the heel there, which I love because it just kind of locks your foot in more, which is really important whenever you're running. You don't want your feet sliding and, and whatnot. Go ahead and pop these on. All right, so stretching complete. Gonna go ahead and hit a quick warm up lap or two, and then uh, we're gonna go ahead and, and shoot for it. Like I said, you know, sometimes it's uh, it gets kind of nerve wracking, you know. Especially when you're doing these time trials. All right, so our warm-up laps are complete. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, and get this started. I'm gonna pop the camera down um, by the uh, by the start line here. Um, I'm gonna see actually. Uh, I'm gonna see if my friend can kind of move the camera around as I'm doing the run. But um, nonetheless, I'll show you guys uh, my watch at the end um, with the uh, with the official time. Kind of just go from there. All right, so uh, official time on the three mile. You guys can see that. See that there? It'll focus in, I don't know if it will. So about 1756. Now, if you look on there, it says uh, 3.04 miles. And uh, that's because, I don't know, the watch is getting a little wacky. Um, so I really just used that as a time gauge. Um, I think it was behind a little bit, lagging uh, on the distance. So obviously three mile around uh, 400 meter track, as you can see. Um, so you're looking at, you know, 12 laps. So I just went with the 12 laps, click the stop whenever I hit the 12 laps, but huh, yeah, I'm happy with that. You know, I'll, I'll take that. Um, I'm not gonna complain about it. Obviously the shirt came off like after maybe lap two or three. And, uh, uh, um, but yeah, like I said, you know, definitely happy with that. Um, that's time trial as of beginning of basically the school year. Next summer is gonna be uh, Officer Canada School. Um, you know, for the Marine Corps, so I'm hoping to get, like I said, that same, uh, the same three mile 
um, time, well, better, just anything sub 18. Um, started off at around like a 550, I wanna say, um, for that first mile. Actually, I think it was 545. Uh, second mile was closer to the 552, 554 range. And then last mile, I just kind of booked it. I don't even know what the split was. I just kind of um, stopped there. I mean, I think, I think it obviously slowed a little bit. My guess is that it was probably six on the dot, maybe a little bit over six, actually. Um, actually, probably, yeah, over six. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, you know, it's humid today, um, but I'm happy with it, I'll take it. All right, yeah, so that's the end of the video, guys. Like I said, um, thank you so much for watching. If you can, just like and subscribe if you don't mind. I'd really, really appreciate it. It'll help my channel. Um, you know, it kind of helped me uh, spread, you know, my uh, my videos to more people, especially those who aspire to be um, an officer in the Marine Corps, um, as I do, and, and, I, and I'm not yet, and that's kind of what I'm doing here is what I'm training for, all these fitness tips, all these fitness, uh, you know, uh, challenges and stuff. That's my goal is, is, to, uh, is to become a Marine Corps officer after college. So like I said, if you guys want to see more videos on that, prepping for that, prepping for running, if you're not even really like a runner build, like I'm not a runner's build, I'm, you know, short and stocky. So if you guys want to see how I trained uh, and how I train um, for these, these videos, and these runs, how I train for a marathon, let me know, guys. I'm um, really excited to get going with this channel. So um, like I said, you know, whatever you guys want to see is, is what I'll do. Um, so thanks again, guys, and uh, see you in the next one.